I got <laughs> again nice camera action <laughs> hello guys this is your Filipino page and I'm back for another question from my internet friend Vibin Midran um, I really appreciate him or and you know others to give suggestions on what videos that I would be doing next because you know I always have some mental distortion <laughs> and disorientation if you do a lot of things of course you will forget also a lot of things anyways so how Filipinas think about this that men regard virginity and a woman's body counts so serious why is it so important to them this is in perspective of our Filipino culture how the way we see it I already said this before in my previous videos uh, how we look up about body counts and virginity I have a video on that if you could check hopefully if you have you know your time I explained it but I'll repeat it just for number one actually I will be making a lot of series on this issue because I know um, not a lot of Filipinas or even Asian I am not sure but okay uh, not a lot of Filipinas talk about this topic about SEX or this area of the relationship because it's a taboo to us to talk about it or to discuss it in public or even within family or within you know brothers sisters or or parents it's like very shameful for us even you know when we buy nappies in the grocery stores or you know condoms uh, if guys will buy or even some girls buy also of course you know those married maybe some not yet married <laughs> anyways yeah mm, they are shy to buy because these things are not really discussed openly and because people will really assume that you have done it and especially when you're young Oh, you will be a talk of the town because you, you will give up your white flag already before your marriage. Supposed it's always after marriage because we believe that we only give our virginity to one man and that man is supposed to be our husband during the honeymoon stage. So there would be excitement and thrill and <laughs> a lot of, you know, bedroom dramas, for sure. <laughs> so yes, that's number one, because we always want to give a virginity to the husband, to our husband. And that for one man, supposed one and only man. And it is the only and the best gift that we can give to our husband the best prize that he can get from all the efforts and for, for being a man you know the dignity the pride and honor and respect that he will feel imagine if he is the first man in your life that came into your body and all that so that's number one number two we also believe that a wife is the crown of her husband so that's why you are a queen but you are the crown you just don't wear the, your crown alone but you have to be the crown for your king and your king is the head you cannot be the neck don't be remember because the neck controls the movement of the head right so no it's very like lower level so you have to be here the crown where it is full of jewels diamonds gemstones emeralds sapphires rubies these are rare gems and very precious and has a high cost and value so you should be that one the crown 
it means that when you are a queen, you will act modest with the proper protocols. You have to follow. That's why these royal queens, these royalties, you think that they can just do whatever they want? No, they have to follow certain standard operating procedures and royal protocols. So you have to be modest, you have to be with acting with finesse. And you cannot be classy and high valued if you sleep around or you lose your virginity early and to different you, you sleep around with different boys in your teens. You lose a lot. You you don't say, you never can say that why men sleep around? I should do that too. Because I'm strong, I'm independent, I can do that. I, we have the equal rights of so No. Oh, I mean, yes, you can do it. But there is a certain degree of sacrifice that each gender is giving out. And much of the gains are going for the men, not for the women. We don't win a lot on this part. You know, whether they grow old, these men, they can still have the, they are still cap capable of reproducing millions of that carbonara sauce. Imagine, in one, how you say, in one, how can I say this, in one shower, <laughs> There's millions and millions, 40 millions, more than, imagine, just one. And until they grow old, it's still, they're going to still reproduce. But for women, no. So our body is our temple. It's like a crystal that if the more you don't take care of it, the more it becomes fragile and easy to be broken, vulnerable and gullible and delicate. Then if you you get that scratches and all and can never be replaced, can never be back to its original form again. And like the men, it's always like that. Shape and form and it's still basically it's still like that. But ours is different. From a small window, it's going to be like the mouth of a, of a cave. <laughs> how much more? You, when, you, when you deliver a baby, imagine if how big their baby is. I remember mine. You know how many this... Um, I, am, I don't know about the medical term, I forgot. You know, the scissors to cut, you know, the entrance because my baby is so big. 8.6 pounds. Oh my god, it's very hard to... I, 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 I don't know, maybe yes, some is just easy to give birth, but me, 12 hours of labor. And then you said, oh my god, I swear I don't want to do this again. <laughs> my head is under the hospital bed and we're crawling. Oh, yeah. Give me a CS. <laughs> They were laughing at me. I really am so funny. Even in that situation, I'm still <laughs> cracking my jokes. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Because if you're a queen as a wife, you're a queen of your man, of your king, right? Because he knows that as a wife, as a queen, you you know how to go have your right conduct and right manners. In public and even inside your home because even inside the home you are the role model of your kids too the way you treat your husband your kids will see it and they will follow they are great imitators great emulators always remember that it's part of our obligation to give pleasure to our husband of course, in a loving and caring and passionate manner, not like, you know, like there's no bond of love. It's a different thing. 
it's hard that one it's like you're doing such casual sex and for me personally if it's like that i feel if i'm in a position like that maybe i will feel like i'm very low value kind of girl and dirt dirty that's my that's how we see it in the philippines mostly it's the culture there dating and you know relationship culture is like that people will see you like not the same as a- anymore if you lose your virginity as early as 12 years old or what especially when you did not marry that man you know just it's just like a hook up or a one night stand or something like oh my gosh the whole community will broadcast you <laughs> via wifi free wifi yeah we filipinas also believe that you know if you if you sleep around and you have a lot of even you have a lot of boyfriends in your young age you already changed boyfriends like one week lo- one week long love affair <laughs> It is not actually just a mission to your husband. You are supposed to submit to your husband alone in that sense, in that relationship sense, you know, in, a, in the family sense. Not submit to all men. <laughs> submit to all men. You can respect all men, but you don't submit to other men, like especially when you're giving your body to everyone in town. That's what the mission is for us as wives. You can submit to yourself, submit to others also. On the situation, like, of course, if you are working in a company, of course, you need to submit also to the to your boss as a sign of respect. But you know when and when to give to put the limitations and boundaries of all this. Okay, anything without a head which is our man, he's the head of the home, he's our head because he is the one who is strategic in every design of his family and structuring of his family, discipline and system. If there's no head, anything is like a dead corpse. Yeah, You will always have to remember that it is not an excuse not to do our part and role as women because we have separate different roles and differences are important for us to grow as couples but remember differences not to defend it make it as your defense and abuse the word because you know you have that specific difference and oh because it's it's just me. I am emotional, right? I'm a woman like this. I'm a woman. I'm just a woman like this. Don't use that as an alibi, an excuse, or a reason not to fulfill your role, natural role, and or be mean and rude to others. Yes, differences are, differences are important, but it should also it should have also boundaries. Another thing that we are taught actually, or we are being un made understood by our parents is that in everything or action that we do we will always have to have accountability and should take and own responsibility of our actions and our decisions so um if for example me because i had an early marriage like that even the so that you know my parents and my family are actually against it because we're very young so um, yeah but i said i will do it it's i will take responsibility of my decision so that's the reason why it took me a lot 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 of years to be patient to work out the relationship actually so that's it so if we rush things you know we, we filipinas always believe that when we rush into things you know you will miss the chance of of the actual actual building of connection and attachment between both of you so 
there is a risk for us, for women especially, because usually we also have a saying that a man's nature is like this, whether you will like it or not. My grandparents say this all the time. <laughs> like, after the guy has taken his part, he will leave you, he will abandon you, mostly. Okay, I'm not saying all, but it's the tendency is and probability is this thing to happen. And then you will ask to yourself, why did he ghosted me? Why did he re abandon me? Why didn't, did he ran away? Why did he left me? Because what else? There's nothing to lose for his part because there's no attachment, there's no connection. You don't even probably know his name or her name. <laughs> I've seen movies like this. But yeah, in reality, it's like that. So, why should uh, he not ghost you? He he got his price already. You know, and you don't blame him for that. Because it's your decision to do it too. Unless if you are under duress or you're forced or being raped, sexually, you know, harassed, abused, and sexually assaulted like that okay that's a different thing but for normal situations in ordinary normal life reality of life that you know you just met him in one restaurant and then you talk and you find every, okay that's fine you find him attractive he finds you attractive maybe but don't give away give that why you surrender a white flag already to, at that same night you have to know build friendship build connection attachment feelings love then when you do it you're responsible already for the consequences or the results of that and at least you will really enjoy because there's love and passion really and that is where your relationship will be more successful and established because if you you sleep around like that it's more of a selfish desire okay because it's more of focusing on yourself what you want what you desire what you feel that fire that time that electricity <laughs> during the time that you feel you're just focusing on that but you don't focus on the connection and the attachment that you should build and develop and maintain and improve of course you will need not to ask yourself why he ghosted you <laughs> you'll just give a man a chance to be tested to see if he is really willing to invest himself to you that's why we avoid that as much as possible and it was always being injected in our minds <laughs> every evening before we sleep sometimes and in the morning in the during the breakfast always like that <laughs> yes <laughs> i remember my grandmother always tells us that you know you are me and my sister so you know that my grandmother said you know that you have the womb we women have the womb we take more risk than men yeah our body and mind knows this even if our birth birth control pills tells us that it don't that they don't no we know that maternal deaths, uh, sexually transmitted disease, we have the cervical cancer, we have the ovarian cancer, we have breast cancers, we have polyps, fibroids, cysts, myomas. We are prone to a lot of things of risk in our reproductive health. That's why it's also important that we always check whether we are singles, really singles, and virgins. As soon as we have our 
menstrual cycle, there are hormonal changes, we always need to see our ob -gyne. And it's very important. There's a lot of things to take care inside of a woman. So that's the risk that we are going to just give away in case you sleep around. And we Filipinas understand that. We're being reminded of that all the time. From house to school. Actually, it's not, if you really think about it, it's not really even about being easy and being judged. This easy, kind of, this, you know, easy to get one night stand and hook up like these things. Not easy to get along with, being friendly and polite and modest and smiling and positive attitude. Not that one. But yes, it's not about that even because we are people are going to say anyway just to you know feel their egos whatever is that serves their egos right so not that even it's more about your self awareness your self dignity your self respect it's it's why it's the why why you do that what, to feel your personal ego? Is that it? That, oh, I'm beautiful. I'm the most beautiful girl, prettiest girl in town. Because many men slept with me, wants me, desires my body. No, it's not that. Your quality as a woman is looked upon by men in that area also you're not going to be high quality woman for them that's your risk it's not just the reputation your reputation but it you know it gives you a low score honestly <laughs> so why did you do that why you do it all the time are you emotionally at tuned to the man's desires and needs and feelings or is it's just that you want to do it because you just like it and you're gonna enjoy it without thinking of the consequences and the effects on your body plus the results that might possibly help happen Maybe unplanned pregnancy, maybe, you know, those STDs, we don't know. So that's important for us to take care of our body as a temple. So there's a lot more things I want to discuss, but I'm trying to limit now the minutes the duration of my video because sometimes it's very long i know not sometimes always so i'll make this as a series okay so we understand that men think that to give the virginity and our limited body counts is important and is a measurement of how they look at us at our value as a woman not your degree, not your riches or your bulky bank books or your luxurious cars and bags and shoes. No. Those doesn't matter to men. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, see you next time. This one first is just like sort of an intro. I will sum it up. Filipinas believe that the virginity of a woman is the best prize and gift and treasure that she can give to her husband to be. The limited body counts is encouraged, promoted, and always the number one rule for women and ladies in the Philippines because it determines the kind of quality men we can also you know, have as partners in life.
Third is it also uh, defines and reflects you as a woman, how you are, what you are. It lowers your value, your dignity, your honor, your respect. You know, in the dating market, you will not be taken seriously. It is important that we are going to be real queens, the crown of our husbands, of our men, because we give the shine, the glamour, the honor, the pride, the respect, the entitlement of being a king. We shine in his head. We give him that. Don't be the neck again. Don't control the head because the neck controls the head, right? Be the crown of your king that lights and glorifies his reign, his kingdom, and his family. Okay, and next time I will also tell you about, of course, in the in the side of the men. How what the mess them what men risk if they sleep around too. But I'm telling you, of course, they have more of the gains. Really. So don't say that you're equal <laughs> to men. Bye. Thank you very much. See you. I'm going to make this as a series. Watch out for it.